everybody, this is Chris from ChristopherJ.net. Today we're going to talk about applying rosin to a bow uh, for the very first time when there's no rosin on the hair at all. This is my uh, Brazilian Pernambuco uh, wood base bow that I, uh, that's probably about 20 years old, which I bought from my instructor. Um, and recently was starting to lose some hair, so I decided it might be a good time to get some new uh, hair uh, installed. So I took it to a place called Kenmore Violins in Kenmore, Washington. If you live in the Seattle area, it's a great resource, um, and I highly recommend them. Um, and he did the uh, the rehair in one day, record time, I guess. And I just got it back yesterday. So um, this is my base bow, and it has no rosin on it at all yet. Um, and since I'm still a student, I'm just passing on what I've learned about rosinating a bow. If you uh, have any other comments or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below in the, in the comments section. That would be great. Um, so here's what you do. First, um, you want to tighten up the, uh, the bow, kind of to um, more or less a normal tension. And then, oh, by the way, here's the rosin that I use. I use Colstein's um, Ultra Base Rosin from Samuel Colstein. Um, and mine is the soft grade up here in the Pacific Northwest. Never gets too overly hot. Um, so most of the time the soft grade has worked pretty good for me. Um, there's also an all weather grade that I have uh, for uh, summer months or warmer times. So, but most of the time the soft seems to work for me. Anyway, um, that's what it looks like. You can find it online if you'd like some. Um, I'm sure they have rosin for violins and cellos too. And it comes in a, a nice little sealed um, container. It's some kind of rubber silicone, I suppose. And it has a top that you can pull off with a cool little emblem in it of, I guess it's a violin. Maybe it's a bass. I like to think it's a bass. And then you need to roll the, uh, the sides of the plastic down in order to use it, kind of like that, to expose the rosin. And um, if you have a brand new one, you might want to take some sandpaper or something rough to roughen up the surface to uh, get it started. And then here's what you do. Um, so you've tightened up the bow. Make sure you don't touch the, the hair with your fingers because you'll get oil off your hands under the uh, hair and that'll gunk things up and not be good. So just try never to do that. Um, and then also be careful of the, the metal part here on the frog. You don't want to ram the, um, the rosin into that and, you know, crack your rosin or whatever. So maybe keep your thumb right there towards the, uh, the end of the frog as a bumper. And um, then I just, and my, my base teacher showed me this, he recommended going in, in short sections kind of until you feel um, a little bit of a tug um, that starts to get sticky. You can just feel it with your hands. And uh, I used to have black hair, um, so it's a little harder, I think, on the white hair to see if the rosin um, is on there or not. But you can, I can tell from just feel, it starts to stick, it wants to skid a little bit. Um, so then I know that the rosin's going on there. So you just do this in short little sections all the way down the whole length of the bow. And... Uh, I don't know, this will probably take a while to do, so um, just keep going. And I'm kind of rocking back and forth to make sure I get the whole width of the, um, the hair rosin. Because the surface of the um, rosin cake's not exactly flat, pretty flat, but um, I just want to make sure I got all edges covered. And um, that's what you do. And uh, after you've done this, and actually uh, after every time you've played or practiced, uh, you might want to take a cloth and wipe down the bow stick to make sure you get off any rosin off the wood so it doesn't uh, mess up your wood. You can hear it squeak so you know it's starting to stick. And um, that's how you rosin a bow. So if this was helpful for you, give me a thumbs up below. Uh, if you have questions or comments or feedback, uh, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to answer it and create a dialogue. Thank you and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.